He's been part of a team that's made appearances in 13 of the last 16 NCAA tournaments. And most importantly, he's earned the reputation as a diligent recruiter, a dedicated educator, and a loyal colleague and friend. Scott, I'm thrilled that our paths have crossed again. Please join me in welcoming Scott Borick as the new head coach of Merrimack Men's Ice Hockey. You know, it's about getting to know the place. I know Merrimack a little bit. I've been coming here since Ron Anderson was coaching here. It's obviously changed quite a bit. Uh, but trying to get to know the people of the place and then going out and selling it. And uh, I think it's, a, it's really a growth mindset here, so it's a pretty exciting sell. Every single time I've been on this campus, whether it be a Sunday, coming to watch a junior game or a midget game, coming to our own games here to compete against Merrimack, this construction going on on this campus everywhere all the time. You know, from the football stadium this year when I drove up, like, whoa, that's a different thing. They're hearing to talk about going Division One. You know, the, all these different things that have gone on to build the place, uh, that's what made it exciting. To be honest, first kind of thing we got was that he was a really personal guy. Uh, kind of walked in, took control of the room, and was very relatable. Uh, I think you get that a lot from being an assistant coach for so long. You can kind of, you know, know the pulse of the room as opposed to a head coach. But, uh, you know, he seemed very, very personal, knew exactly what he was talking about, and uh, was very relatable in a lot of the, uh, you know, different stuff he said. So there was a, a comfortable feeling right away. You know, I, let, I was at Lake Superior, and the most frustrating thing in my life was that I never coached a team like it was my own. I, I was only there for a year, so like nine months before Jeff left. There was a lake away. I tried to carry the lake away on the same way Jeff Jackson did, and we couldn't be more different as people, as coaches. Uh, so I come to Merrimack. This is my team. And they're going to they're gonna show themselves that way. They're going to work that way. I've learned from two of the best coaches in the game, Nate and Richie. Um, I can't wait to get started, but I'm going to coach it Scott's way, uh, not like I did at Lake Superior. At UNH, we always went after sticks. Good sticks, good high, high hockey IQs. At Providence, you know, hard, committed, competing. Uh, it was like a different set of uh, skills. So I, I actually think you meld those two. And I know it sounds easy, to, not easy to find the players, but easy to say. But I think it gives me a great background to come in here. Maybe offensively bring some things that, that uh, we can use and get guys with those sticks. But it definitely gives me a better way to view those players at the, the prism that I had at, at Providence. What I expected to find is exactly what I found. Uh, really quality guys, you know, really committed players. And I think that there's something that we can build from as a program with those guys. And I'm not even talking about wins and losses. I'm talking about creating something special. They were very accepting. I think they were locked in on my very first meeting with them. And I'm simply excited about working with them. I think it's a good group of guys.